Game one of probably the final triple header until like over a week later. Today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Chick of the Sea Mermaid Starter Kits. Now with your choice of seashells or double D shells. <laughs> and right this way. I think that probably leads to mermaid fetishism, which is kind of maybe the reason why that's not a real product. Hannibal Lecter Health Nut. Suppose Hannibal Lecter wants to eat healthier, so he starts removing the skin before eating a person. What could he make with the leftover skin from one human adult? <laughs> the surface area of the average adult skin is 21.5 square feet. Enough for Hannibal Lecter to make a quite stylish area rug. And how much is that in hands? And the rugs match any decor. They come in peach, brown, olive, and new freckle. Lego, 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 and you're like Here's what I like to call me, myself, and I think that's a supernova. Yeah. If the eternal sunshine and eternal sunshine of the spotless mind only lasted as long as our actual sun is expected to last, what would be a more scientifically accurate name for the movie? In about five billion years, our sun will blow off its outer surface and become a white dwarf. Oh, and uh, it won't be taking us along for the ride. <laughs> So if the world will definitely end by then, I might as well quit this diet. Hey, do I me? Three! Say hello to Comic Strip Tease. Which comic strip character should read the self-help book he's just not that into you? Lucy from the Peanuts comics totally loves Schroeder, but he's just not that into her. Gross. Charlie Brown should read the self-help book. Everybody's just not that into you because you're a big downer. I think Blondie's a guy. Of everything. <laughs> Next, this question is brought to you by the letters G, P, and S, and D, I, S, O, R, D, A, T. Yup. I'm gonna read off seven names. For each, I want you to tell me if it's a GPS device for your car, you know, to give you directions, or a character from the children's show Yo Gabba Gabba. If it's yep, you really gotta GPS, know your Yo Gabba Gabba for this. Your and your GPS brand, brand of if course, it's yeah. Yo Gabba Gabba. Okay, great. Let's just get right to it. <laughs> Yep, under four and a half seconds. I actually use a device similar to a GPS to navigate me through this game. Make fun of any contestant currently playing game. Yeah, it's weird. I knew six of the seven, actually. Because I know the five I've uh, costumed humans in, in, in Yo Gabba Gabba, and aside from DJ Lance, of course. And I know, and I've heard of Tom Tom and Garmin. So. Assuming it's true that gentlemen prefer blondes, which of these Disney dates would a gentleman most prefer? The right answer coming up. Yeah, it would actually be a Wonderland Alice picnic with Alice. Alice. is the only Disney lady here who's blonde. Exactly. Pocahontas so was maybe a brunette, I think. Or is it Jasmine might have been either a brunette or a black hair. I don't know. And just give I think it was black hair. Like Pocahontas might have black hair, maybe a brunette. I don't know. Ariel was a redhead. Ariel the mermaid is not a blonde. But. <laughs> Speaking of mermaids, we want some fresh and ready mermaid eggs from the one and only Chick of the Sea Mermaid Starter Kits. Strong, beautiful, and obedient. That's a Chick of the Sea mermaid. Now, odorless. You'll be happy to know this wrong answer. The game comes with $4,000. Congrats. <laughs> That's the end of a thrilling first round. And you've got a decent score there. Don't screw it up. Round number two. Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is double. Okay, we're bringing it on. Take a good look at... I would die for college credit. 
And I'll be with you in a second. Just need to do an intern interview. So, Jeffrey, are you proficient in Excel, Word, Outlook, snake handling, getting punched in the face, poison ingestion, and PowerPoint? Yeah. Uh, what? Great. You start next Monday. Uh, okay. Suppose Jeffrey's oh, first assignment is to sleep in a box with the animal responsible for the most human deaths in the year. Right. You know, for research purposes or something. What would his deadly roommate be? <laughs> Mosquitoes, yep. as carriers of malaria and other diseases, are responsible for over two million human deaths each year. Yeah. yeah it's a new game show I like to call the mosquito All Dead, Alive, or Zyka. Huh. <laughs> seven! <laughs> Oi! Try this out for size. <laughs> Ramey River. What would you find in a collection of raiment from Sam Raimi films? The term raiment refers to apparel or clothing, like Toby's Spider-Man suit. It's got some weird stains that I hope are webbing. Fucking chickens picking on the meat. Yes, I'll marry eight. Let's try pull until it breaks. It's the Let's see if you are right. Question. You should know how this works by now. An extra what? thousand bucks for a correct answer. Here we go. Place these wishbones in the chronological order of their first appearance. The salad. <laughs> Lipton started manufacturing wishbone salad dressing in 1958. The wishbone offense was introduced in 1968, and the children's dog series started in 1995. That earned you an extra grand. Oh, so some of us are older than Wishbone. Technically, that was on PBS. Yes, if I'm correct. This is for me, it's about nine. May I introduce Yo Yo Mama? Yo Yo Mama. I love Yo Mama jokes, <laughs> because Yo Mama is really fat and or stupid. <laughs> Finish this Yo Mama joke with the casino game where you can bet Yo Mama. <clears throat> yo Mama is so fat. In the she game craps crap, 11. You can bet on Yo or Yo Levin, which just means 11. Yep. And speaking of craps, Yo Mama is so ugly when she walks by the bathroom, the toilet flushes. Snap. Yup. Am I dreaming? Gee whiz. In the movie The Wiz, the Wiz is a giant fire-breathing head. Why is this ironic? Richard Pryor's hair caught on fire in real life while freebasing, and he played The Wiz in the musical The Wiz. Nicolas Cage was never in The Wiz. Michael Jackson was the scarecrow. Nipsey Russell, uh, don't know what role he was. He could have been the Cowardly Lion, for all we know. Oh, I don't really know. You'll have to comment me on what Nipsey Russell's real role was in The Wiz, if he was in it. Or if he was in it. Because well, I know Diana Ross was Dorothy, I want your and Michael Jackson was the Scarecrow. Believe it or not, you're about to see stars. I don't, I don't remember the others. Yep, thank me the geeks in. Oh, oops. It's alright, wrong answer to the game was in round one, so didn't really matter. Then first four letters in the name gave it away. Still this part. You don't know Jack! Yeah. Didn't 
no Jack on one of that cool Jay was showing up. Yeah. In terms of that, probably right on that. But yeah, one game down, two to go. See you in game number 58.